Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is your horoscope for the weekend of 23rd and 24th October 2021. And let's get started. So the first thing I do want to mention is that the sun entered the sign of Scorpio yesterday. Now this is a shift. The sun in Libra is an energy that's more about finding balance and weighing things out. But the sun in Scorpio is different. It's about digging deep, finding the truth and an all or nothing approach to things so that's a basic shift we saw yesterday 11 p.m pacific time so close to today i would say and the second thing that i want to speak about happens at 1 a.m pacific time and the moon here has changed signs it has entered the sign of gemini now gemini is a lot of energy it is very different from taurus where the moon has been for the past two and a half days the moon in gemini is a lot of energy it's a lot of stimulation it's wanting to do multiple things talk about multiple things so that's the energy and as soon as it enters the sign of Gemini it is going to conjunct the north node at about 1 at about 4 a.m pacific time if you are elsewhere in the world you can always convert the pacific time to your time zone to know when the energy is going to happen for you and as you can see here the moon is conjuncted the north node now the north node is an energizer it energizes any planet it comes in contact with and now it's energizing the moon and what this could mean is that we feel overly stimulated, right? The moon in Gemini, a lot of stimulation. So if that's happening, just let this energy pass. Alternatively, this is also a point which happens once a month where our emotions align with where we are headed, the North Node. So that's 1 a, 4 a.m. Pacific time. Then moving on to, to the afternoon, Saturday afternoon, we have... We have the moon trining Saturn. So moon at 7 degrees of Gemini is trining Saturn, right? 120 degree angle. Now the moon is our emotions and Saturn is the planet of hard work, decisions, commitment and all these things. And now it's making a positive aspect with our emotions. So this could be a moment where we define our emotions, commit to our emotions in a certain way or commit to something when it comes to our emotions. Or just work hard on our emotions but this is not stressful although we are working deciding defining committing to things regarding our emotions it's not stressful it's happening naturally and organically and one thing that i do want to mention is that saturn has been sextiling the north node trining the north node for months now months which means for months it has been helping us build towards our goals just thought I'd mention that because these are the themes, these are the things that get missed out on the daily videos. But whatever we are building, whatever we are working towards, the North Node, Saturn's helping us build it for months now. So that's something that I just thought I'd mention. And that's pretty much it for Saturday. Then moving on to Sunday, we have, yes, at 1 a.m., we have the moon here in a trine with mercury the moon is our emotions actually it's more like 2 2 a.m so moon trining mercury now the moon is our emotions it's in our heart and soul and mercury is our logical mind it's also the planet of our thinking communication diet health lifestyle routine job and now they are making a positive aspect so this could be one of two things one we feel emotionally and mentally in alignment two we feel emotionally good about a piece of communication some information or our diet health job routine so this is that energy and i do want to mention one thing that mercury here is getting ready to quincunx uranus exact and and since it is getting ready to quincunx uranus exact this could be a moment where we feel good about some sudden insight, some, some sudden information, realization that we have because Uranus is sudden insights as well. And now it's contacting Mercury, our mind. So, and the moon's involved. So it could be that we feel good about a sudden insight that we might receive. And then moving on, speaking of Mercury's quincunx to Uranus, this comes exact at about... 11 a.m pacific time so it's around then that that message that piece of information that sudden insight connected to 
anything because mercury is basic information as well or something connected to our diet health lifestyle routine job a piece of information inside or a change to these things might take place so mercury is in a quincunx with uranus and moving on to 3 p.m pacific time we have there we go the moon making a slightly stressful aspect the moon here is going to oppose venus okay and this can feel challenging because venus is the romance in our life the romantic relationships we have it's our projects as well it's how we feel about ourselves and now our emotions are opposing it making a stressful aspect asking us to integrate these two elements integrate our emotions with our relationships projects and how we feel about ourselves so at this moment here we might not feel the best but the goal is to make an adjustment so that we can feel good about relationships projects self worth value skills venus things and soon after this the moon does go through a lot of stressful stuff you know it opposes venus then it squares squares neptune now this aspect to neptune can feel challenging because neptune is the planet of confusion and it can bring about feeling of feeling low and depressed and all that sort of stuff or wanting to escape the material world that's neptune and it is positive as well it's spiritual and creative but this is a stressful aspect so it could be that this moment here at 6 p.m pacific time we feel a little low we feel a little depressed we feel confused we, we have this desire to kind of maybe escape to another world you know not face our responsibilities because a few hours before it did oppose venus right so there was a feeling of feeling dissatisfied with our relationships and projects so that's the energy and then we do have a positive aspect so the moon goes through a little bit of stress it opposes venus squares neptune and then positivity it trines jupiter so this is a moment where we might start to feel good again we might have that feeling of feeling hopeful joyous optimistic again through all the adjustments and changes we made with moon opposing venus and squaring neptune and that's pretty much it for the week and i want to keep this video as short and concise as possible and give you the highlights so to sum it up i would say that starting friday late night coming into saturday we have a different energy the sun is in scorpio which is very different from the sun in libra and the moon has changed signs from taurus more secure more stable more slow to a lot of energy a lot of intensity and that's throughout the weekend and we do have some stressful aspects some positive ones so that's the weekend for us and now i will pick a few cards for today for the weekend rather but before that i do want to mention that venus here is going to square neptune this coming week and mars is also going to change signs this next week october 30th and one more thing is that mars has moved off its square to pluto that we've spoken about but it's still in a close orb so we might have that lingering intensity still going on and another thing i do want to mention is that we are still in the full moon in aries energy we will be till november 4th and this energy is asking us to transform how we take action perhaps transform take how like just taking action maybe starting something new and that's the energy and through that transformation there is a lesson or a blessing at the end because this moon energy the full moon in aries it squared pluto but it trined jupiter transformation leading to blessing or lessons so i just thought i'd mention that and i will pull a few cards for this weekend for the energy and then we'll close it out when i do want to talk to you guys about something that we will discuss so let me do that again since okay adventures <laughs> so i think this is a an adventurous weekend that's the energy for the weekend maybe be open to going on an adventure because an adventure is often something that is unknown right 
we go on an adventure, we find new things, we learn new things, it's exciting, it's fun, it's different. So perhaps bring that adventure into your life and experiment with things, right? Maybe that. Let's let's pick another card to clarify this. Blessings. This is Jupiter, so there is there are some blessings involved, and even this this card is a, the Jupiter, right? Jupiter is the ruler of Sag. Sag is all about adventure, and this is also Jupiter. So there is a lot of positivity. The cards are saying. Let's go with one more. Adversity. I think we got this yesterday. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn and I think now it's very clear that we do need to transform square to Pluto, full moon square Pluto, right? And that might feel challenging, but challenges are the best way to learn. And what is Jupiter? Jupiter is learning as well and it can lead to blessings and adventure. So that's the message that if there are challenges coming up, then maybe overcome them and those will lead to blessings and approach those challenges as an adventure, not as adversity. So that's all I'm going to say. I hope you have a great weekend. Oh, and before I go, I do want to mention that I am going to change up how I do these daily readings. And at least I'm going to try to change the change it up because I do want to give you more content and filming a daily video daily is taking up a lot of my time which I could spend on creating different astrological content that I want to as well and that I think is relevant so for the next week I am going to put out a video for every day of the week but in one video right so it'll be more like a weekly but the energy for each day will be broken up just as I have done for this weekend so that's how I'm going to try to do it um, the coming week and let's see how that pans out for everybody because I do want to make astrology useful and relevant and in a very precise concise time effective manner so that was my reason to change how I do these daily videos by giving you one video with all the days broken down it's it's not going to be a very long video as well and I will break down that video into chapters so you can just click on the chapter for that particular day and know the energies and if you don't want the details for the dailies because I know the trines, the squares, the astrological jargon can get a bit much for somebody who just wants the basic gist of the week or the energy so I will sum up those energies towards the end of the video in a very non-astrological way in that video that I'm speaking about so that's something that I thought I'd share with you so look out for that video for next week next week I will not be posting a daily video the daily energies will be in that one video that I will post I think by Monday and since that daily video will also cover the energy of the week in a way I will not post a weekly instead I will focus on maybe creating and researching more on astrology maybe even learning more astrology because I do like to learn constantly and that's one thing I really enjoy and that's one thing that really helps me create these videos by learning new things so I'm going to focus on that and I hope this works out so look out for that video and have a great weekend bye